Um, I can see several other important areas, but I think you the way to do science is to do what you th are puzzled and interested in and are prepared to really uh, spend hours and hours and years. hours. Um, not necessarily enjoyment, just, wow, I'm going to crack this problem. Okay. One very quick question. You've presented in your visit to our university the GeoSet initiative. Yes. Uh, we know a little bit about that, but we're interested in knowing how would you rate the chances that GeoSet is relevant for the future of science dissemination and uh, joining all people together in knowledge. Let's well, say it that way. We, I'm already very happy with what it is. I mean, obviously it'd be fantastic if more universities, and I think more universities will actually join together. Um, the, for me, the greatest breakthrough in education was the printing press. I think the second great uh, breakthrough in education is, was Wikipedia. I, I think, who could have imagined that half a million people would join together altruistically to contribute their knowledge for nothing, all right? And also anonymously, all right? So they work on this and they, you see this. And in my field of spectroscopy, it's better than the textbooks. It really is. There are less mistakes. The people who have created this material are actually people who have expertise in the area. Very often the textbook writer only has expertise in a small in a small area and doesn't know everything and so there are there are limitations. Now what we're doing is I think going to the next stage of Wikipedia. I think Geoset is I call it uh, Wiki 2.0 mm -hmm. where we now see the person who created the material. I like subjectivity. I like to see the teacher. I think we It'll be a long time before personal communications. Uh, I hope it never happens, that I want us to communicate as people. And that's what we're doing here. And that's why he, you here in Valencia have developed this great software which allows the uh, teacher to present the material that they have created. And um, it's so flexible that anyone really can use it and talk about whatever they want, all right? Uh, so it's not just for teachers. I think it's very good for students, and particularly I find that students, um, they come with a, a tremendous imagination, and it becomes a catalyst of creative uh, ideas. But it has lots of other things going for it in the sense that now, because it's subjective, and that's as you see the students, they, they can use this in their resumes and they can get scholarships and jobs this way. And we're finding it extremely effective, Be especially if a, a student wants, say, a postdoctoral fellowship in another country. Mm -hmm. So, what happens, I get every week two or three requests for, uh, to do a postdoc or to do, be a student. Yep. Um, from India, from, from China, India. from India, uh, from all, India. all the time. Most from of them. India and China, I would say 90% are from India and China. And uh, the question is, well, I can read this through. Now, I have to do a lot of work reading this. You know, you, you take a, a pile of paper like this, and I have to now sit down in the evening mm -hmm. when I tired or whatever, and I have to read this through. I may have to read 10, 20 of these things through. What we have done is we've eliminated that hard work and made it much easier for the student to uh, communicate what they think, who they are, whether they can teach or not, okay, what interests them, what they have done, and what they would like to do. All right. So when I now a student comes for a reference for a job or a postdoc, I say, okay, but you have to do a presentation on the GeoSet site. I'm not going to do it otherwise. And so they, I said, I want to do three, four, five minutes on the research project that you've done. But if you want a postdoc into this group, which one? Someone, UCLA or whatever, 
uh, okay, which group, this one, go and look at what they're doing and suggest a little project that might interest this person. And in fact, that's how I got my job at Bell Labs. I, I actually, when I was a postdoc in Canada for two years, I was interested in working with a group at, uh, at Bell Labs, which was a major, the top physics labs in the world at the time. And I pr made a proposal of a research project that I was interested in. And they were not particularly interested in that project, but they were interested in me because of the sort of things Most that I was crap. proposing yeah. was something that I had expertise that they were interested in. And so I, I went there um, and then went back to the UK. So here is a, a, a tremendous vehicle for, for students to get jobs and uh, it's working. And in fact, I think within two to five years, it's going to be inevitable. I think that within five years, there's going to be on Geoset type website, whether they're ours or not, I don't know if it's, if it, so. if it, it, it will so. be something similar. So each university will have presentations by their students, but they also have a record of their students. Yeah. They can use these uh, in assessment. It makes assessment a, a pleasure because assessment is not in general a pleasure, it's hard work. It, it, it is uh, what we call a no-brainer, really. Okay, thanks, Harriet. Really, this has been wonderful having you here, having the opportunity of asking you these questions that I hope will help our students. No, it's my pleasure. I mean, it's, it's my job as well. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh,